And Stephen, he didn't give him a background check. He didn't have his last name, no job application, just some blind trust that may have cost him most of his business. He came back. Uh, he left on Thursday. He came back on 1:45, about 1:42 a.m. on Monday morning, and robbed the place. All of his tools, most all of his parts, and even a customer's car gone. Taken, he says, by a person he considers a familiar stranger. This vehicle, there's a set of 24-inch wheels on it. They obviously stole those. Uh, there was a bunch of stereo equipment inside, amplifiers, subwoofers, speakers. Um, that's all gone. Just three weeks into his new business, Focus Specialist owner Jason Siegel hired an auto tech off Craigslist. Chris, the first name, no last name, only a cell number. And by day three on the job, it appeared as though Chris was already selling him out. He wanted more money. Yeah. I paid him about $900 for four days of work, so I felt like I didn't owe him any more money. They started receiving text messages. He wants more money. If not, he's going to come with his friends. He's going to wait outside my building. i got to come here eventually. Uh, making threats, he's going to take things, which I didn't take it seriously. And about three days after the threats, in the wee hours of the morning, during the latest huge snowstorm... They're in there from 146 a.m. until 217. This surveillance camera from a security company across the street caught who appears to be Chris Bose, a last name given to Jason from state police, and an accomplice cleaning out his business. It, uh, it kind of solidified the fact that he thought it was a certain type of vehicle and he knew who it was. I couldn't believe what he told me. Mm. Blue Tahoe, the make and model, and uh, basically it's the guy who I hired from Craigslist. And it appears he's still taunting Jason. This text message claiming his innocence came through not long before we started talking. I don't know what to do. I have no idea what I can do right now. Cry. In addition to most all of Jason's equipment, the thief loaded up and stole a customer's car. So Macomb County Auto Theft Squad, Clinton Township Police, and State Police are following at least two leads that have taken them as far as KPAC to find this elusive ex-employee. And Jason is offering $1,000 reward for anyone with information that leads to him. Live in Clinton Township, I'm Glenda Lewis. Carolyn, back to you.